Welcome back to Bible Quiz Channel. Today we will come to the topic. 35 Hardest Bible Quiz About The Gospel of John Let's start. Question 1. What came out of Jesus' body when the soldier pierced his side? A. Only blood. B. Only water. C. Blood and water. D. Nothing came out. Time to think. Correct answer, C, blood and water. Explaining the Bible, but when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and at once there came out blood and water. John chapter 19 verse 33 to 34. Question 2. What was the name of the slave whose ear Peter cut off? A. Joseph. B. Stephen. C. Malchus. D. Matthias. Time to think. <laughs> Correct answer, C. Malchus. Explaining the Bible, then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it and struck the high priest's servant and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. John chapter 18 verse 10. Question 3. Where did Lazarus, who was resurrected by Jesus, live? A. Jerusalem. B. Bethany. C. Jericho. D. Samaria. Time to think. Correct answer, B. Bethany. Explaining the Bible, now a certain man was ill, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. John chapter 11 verse 1. Question 4. Mary said to Jesus, Rabboni. What does this mean? A. Teacher. B. Where do you live? C. Get up. D. Thank you. Time to think. Correct answer, A, teacher. Explaining the Bible, Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. John chapter 20 verse 16. Question 5. What was the color of the robe placed on Jesus? A, blue. B, brown. C, purple. D, green. Time to think. Correct answer, C, purple. Explaining the Bible, and the soldiers twisted together a crown of thorns and put it on his head and arrayed him in a purple robe. John chapter 19 verse 2. Question 6. Who is Nicodemus? A, Sadducee. B, prophet. C, zealot. D, Pharisee. Time to think. Correct answer, D, Pharisee. Explaining the Bible, now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. John chapter 3 verse 1. Question 7. Who was resurrected four days after they had died? A, Lazarus. B, young man in Nain. C, Cornelius' daughter. D, Peter's mother-in-law. Time to think.
Correct answer, A. Lazarus. Explaining the Bible, Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, by this time there will be an odor, for he has been dead four days. John chapter 11 verse 39. Question 8. Which apostle didn't believe that the other apostles saw Jesus? A. Thomas. B. Peter. C. John. D. James. Time to think. Correct answer, A. Thomas. Explaining the Bible, now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the mark of the nails, and place my finger into the mark of the nails, and place my hand into his side, I will never believe. John chapter 20 verse 24 to 25. Question 9. What is the meaning of Salome's pool? A. Dead. B. Healed. C. Sour. D. Sent. Time to think. <laughs> Correct answer. D. Sent. Explaining the Bible, and said to him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam, which means sent. So he went and washed and came back seeing. John chapter 9 verse 7. Question 10. How many husbands did the Samaritan woman who talked with Jesus have? A. 3. B. 4. C. 5. D. 6. Time to think. Correct answer, C, 5. Explaining the Bible, for you have had five husbands, and the one you now have is not your husband. What you have said is true. John chapter 4 verse 18. Question 11. Whose second name was Cephas? A, Bartholomew. B, Philip. C, Andrew. D, Peter. Time to think. Correct answer, D. Peter. Explaining the Bible, he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, So you are Simon the son of John? You shall be called Cephas, which means Peter. John chapter 1 verse 42. Question 12. Who said that Lazarus will have an odor? A. Mary. B. Martha. C. Jesus. D. Peter. Time to think. Correct answer, B, Martha. Explaining the Bible, Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, by this time there will be an odor, for he has been dead four days. John chapter 11 verse 39. Question 13. How long did the Jews tell Jesus it took to build the temple? A. 14 years. B. 18 years. C. 20 years. D. 46 years. Time to think. Correct answer, D, 46 years. Explaining the Bible, the Jews then said, It has taken 46 years to build this temple, and will you raise it up in three days? John chapter 2 verse 20. Question 14. Who had a seamless garment? A, Paul. B, Jesus. C, 
Peter. D. John the Baptist. Time to think. Correct answer, B, Jesus. Explaining the Bible, when the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his garments and divided them into four parts, one part for each soldier, also his tunic. But the tunic was seamless, woven in one piece from top to bottom, John chapter 19 verse 23. Question 15. Where did Jesus turn water into wine? Ah, Samaria. B, the land of Uzi. C. Nazareth. D. Kana. Time to think. <laughs> Correct answer. D. Kana. Explaining the Bible, this, the first of his signs, Jesus did at Kana in Galilee, and manifested his glory and his disciples believed in him. John chapter 2 verse 10 to 11. Question 16. Who is Mary and Martha's brother? A. Peter. B. Lazarus. C. John. D. Levi. Time to think. Correct answer, B, Lazarus. Explaining the Bible, now a certain man was ill, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. It was Mary who anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was ill. John chapter 11 verse 1 to 2. Question 17. Who did Jesus call happy after his resurrection? Ah, those who cast out demons. B. Those who have not seen, yet they believe. C. Those who perform signs and wonders. D. Those who are meek. Time to think. <laughs> Correct answer. B. Those who have not seen, yet they believe. Explaining the Bible. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. John chapter 20 verse 29. Question 18. For how long was the man an invalid before Jesus cured him at the pool of Bethesda? A. 20 years. B. 30 years. C. 38 years. D. 42 years. Time to think. Correct answer, C, 38 years. Explaining the Bible, now there is in Jerusalem by the sheep gate a pool, in Aramaic called Bethesda, which has five roofed colonnades. In these lay a multitude of invalids blind, lame, and paralyzed. One man was there who had been an invalid for 38 years. John chapter 5 verse 2 to 5. Question 19. Which of the disciples told Nathanael that they had found the Messiah? A. John. B. Matthew. C. Philip. D. James. Time to think. <laughs> Correct answer, C. Philip. Explaining the Bible, Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him of whom Moses and the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. John chapter 1 verse 45. Question 20. According to Jesus, who bears much fruit? A. The ones who hurry. B. The ones who think positively. C. The ones who get baptized. D. The ones who abide within him. Time to think. Wow. 
Correct answer, D, the ones who abide within Him. Explaining the Bible, I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me, and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit, for apart from me you can do nothing. John chapter 15 verse 5. Question 21. Who are Lazarus' siblings? A. Mary and Joanna. B. Mary and Martha. C. Mary and Elizabeth. D. Mary and Magdalene. Time to think. Correct answer, B, Mary and Martha. Explaining the Bible, now a certain man was ill, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. John chapter 11 verse 1. Question 22. How many times did Jesus ask Peter if he loved him? A. Once. B. Twice. C. Three times. D. Four times. Time to think. Correct answer, C. Three times. Explaining the Bible, he said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. John chapter 21 verse 17. Question 23. Who was the father-in-law of Caiaphas the high priest? A. Gamaliel. B. Nicodemus. C. Annas. D. Zechariah. Time to think. <laughs> Correct answer, C. Annas. Explaining the Bible, first they led him to Annas, for he was the father-in-law of Caiaphas, who was high priest that year. John chapter 18 verse 13. Question 24. In John's Gospel, we read about Jesus writing on something. What did he write on? A. Tablet. B. Scroll. C. Wall. D. Ground. Time to think. Correct answer, D. Ground. Explaining the Bible, this they said to test him, that they might have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and wrote with his finger on the ground. And as they continued to ask him, he stood up and said to them, Let him who is without sin among you be the first to throw a stone at her. And once more he bent down and wrote on the ground. John chapter 8 verse 6 to 8. Question 25. What were Jesus' last words on the cross? A. I am thirsty. B. It is finished. C. I will return. D. I am suffering. Time to think. <laughs> Correct answer, B. It is finished. Explaining the Bible, when Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, It is finished, and he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. John chapter 19 verse 30. Question 26. What does the author of the Gospel portray Jesus as when he begins the Gospel narrative? A. The Word. B. The Light. C. The Savior. D. The Messiah. Time to think. Correct answer, A, the Word. Explaining the Bible, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. John chapter 1 verse 1. Question 27. 
according to John 1 verse 18, who has seen God? A. Many prophets. B. Angels. C. No one. D. Disciples. Time to think. Correct answer, C, no one. Explaining the Bible, no one has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, who is in the bosom of the Father, He has declared Him. John chapter 1 verse 18. Question 28. What does Rabbi mean? A, King. B, Master. C, Savior. D, Teacher. Time to think. Correct answer, D. Teacher. Explaining the Bible, he said to them, Come and see. They came and saw where he was staying, and they stayed with him that day, for it was about the tenth hour. One of the two who heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his own brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which means Christ. He brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, you are Simon the son of John. You shall be called Cephas, which means Peter. John chapter 1 verse 39 to 42. Question 29. Who said, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? A. Simon Peter. B. Nathaniel. C. Philip. D. Andrew. Time to think. Correct answer, B. Nathaniel. Explaining the Bible, Nathaniel said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? John chapter 1 verse 46. Question 30. Jesus said, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Who did Jesus say this to? A. Peter. B. Nicodemus. C. John the Baptist. D. Philip. Time to think. Correct answer, B. Nicodemus. Explaining the Bible, Jesus answered him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. John chapter 3 verse 3. Question 31. What does St. John 6 verse 35 say? This is a very famous verse. A. I am the bread of life. B. He who comes to me shall not hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. C. I am the light of the world. D. I am the way, and the truth, and the life. Time to think. Correct answer, A. I am the bread of life. Explaining the Bible, Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life, whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. John chapter 6 verse 35. Question 32. What did Jesus say to those who accused the adulteress? Ah, let him who is without sin among you be the first to throw a stone at her. B. Go and sin no more. C. Neither do I condemn you, go, and from now on sin no more. D. Your sins are forgiven, go in peace. Time to think. Correct answer, I. Let him who is without sin among you be the first to throw a stone at her. Explaining the Bible. Jesus stood up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, Lord. 
And Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you, go, and from now on sin no more. John chapter 8 verse 7 to 11. Question 33. Who made this prophecy? You know nothing at all, you do not understand that it is expedient for you that one man should die for the people, and that the whole nation should not perish. A. Peter. B. John the Baptist. C. Caiaphas, the high priest. D. Nicodemus. Time to think. Correct answer, C. Caiaphas, the high priest. Explaining the Bible, but one of them, Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing at all, nor do you understand that it is better for you that one man should die for the people, not that the whole nation should perish. John chapter 11 verse 49 to 50. Question 34. Who confessed his faith? Question 34. Who confessed his faith in Jesus by saying, My Lord and my God? A. John. B. Peter. C. Andrew. D. Thomas. Time to think. Correct answer, D. Thomas. Explaining the Bible, Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. John chapter 20 verse 28. Question 35. What question did Jesus ask Peter three times at the Sea of Tiberias in order to restore Peter, who had denied him three times? Ah, do you believe in me? B. Do you trust me? C. Do you love me? D. Do you follow me? Time to think. Correct answer, C. Do you love me? Explaining the Bible, he said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. John chapter 21 verse 15 to 17.